invite you to rise in body or spirit and let us confess our faith today in the words of the Sparkle Creed. I believe in the non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. I believe in Jesus Christ, their child, who wore a fabulous tunic and had two dads and saw everyone as a sibling child of God. I believe in the rainbow spirit who shatters our image of one white light and refracts it into a rainbow of gorgeous diversity. I believe in the church of everyday saints as numerous, creative, and resilient as patches on the ace quilt, whose feet are grounded in mud and whose eyes gaze at the stars in wonder. I believe in the calling to each of us that love is love is love. So beloved, let us love. I believe, glorious God, help my unbelief. Amen. Please rise in body or spirit and join me in the responsive reading of the call to worship. God chooses to be among us, one of us, a queer and non-binary God. Let us pray God who rejoices in the uniqueness of every being. Jesus showed us how to love, and we love our neighbors of every gender and sexual orientation, every race and ability, every body size and body type. I am a glimpse of the holy wonder. God calls us to co-create communities of radical belonging. We are people of extravagant welcome, loving all and working for justice for all creation. We strive to create a community of welcome for all persons. Let us proclaim, we are welcome here no matter who we are or what our pronouns are or how we identify ourselves, or where we are on life's journey. Beloved, welcome to Old South Church in Boston here on a high holy day, Pride Sunday. Today we celebrate the here, queer, and fabulous among us, while recommitting ourselves to upend all systems of oppression and hatred. Rejoice. O oh, people of God, rejoice. Sing praise to the Holy One who delights in their creation. Today, on Pride Sunday, we are all just a quiver as we present the Open Door Award to the Boston chapter of Drag Queen Story Hour with a surge in legislation even now targeting LGBTQIA plus rights. Organizations like Drag Queen Story Hour have become vital beacons of support and inclusivity. Here in Massachusetts, Drag Queen Story Hours have stood firmly in the face of neo-Nazis and fascist groups. Despite their threats, they continue to share their joy, creativity, and passion for literacy and inclusivity. Your organization opens the way for more and more of God's children to see themselves in their full, diversely splendid, even fabulous glory, particularly those who defy rigid gender restrictions and roles. You invite them and all of us into a world of glamour, imagination, and joy. And we thank you for serving as an unabashedly queer role model to our children, youth, and people of all ages. 